<laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's uh, news conference. The Wildcats will be getting ready to play host to the Auburn Tigers Saturday at 7 45 p.m. They gave me televised on SEC Network. Okay, um, I'll get started by acknowledging and uh, uh, saying our prayers for Lonnie Demery. Uh, really sad to hear the news about him last week. Uh, a man I really respected and liked. Of course, I don't get to see the Browns gear anymore in here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what's that? Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to leave their ringer on. <laughs> so, just to break it up for me a little bit. But, now looking forward to getting back at it. We got another challenge here this week with Auburn. You know, Auburn's a team, you look, you look at the record and everybody's going to think, uh, that uh, you know, it's a bad football team. Comes down to turnovers for them. They're a very good team. Turnover margin's been the big issue. So for us, uh, you know, another big challenge. We got to worry about ourselves and getting better and putting it all together and playing a good football game. Mark, you talked so much about the home road stuff the last two weeks. Do you do anything differently this week to try and just shake up the routine before another home game? Uh, I think I do. Yeah, I do some. Uh, I tried last week, you know, to to or I'm sorry, the last home game uh, to talk about that and address it a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I think I do look at a few things. Yes, especially with pregame when we get there and things of that nature. Mark, when you when you looked at the film, especially the Florida's long pass plays, what, what, what did you see on there? Yeah. It's a combination of things, um, you know, one or two, like the late one, you know, good coverage, unbelievable catch. I don't know if you saw the catch on TV, but, you know, you look at it closely, one-handed, you know, uh, catch, very good throw and catch there. I think some of the other ones, um, you know, I, I mentioned it briefly after the game, but when they're having the success that they've had in the run game, it opens some things up. and. You know, one set in particular, um, you know, we, we obviously got to play it better, have played it better. You know, even the same set, same plays, same shots, uh, have played them better in the past, have played them better this year. Um, with the weak side run game out of the unbalanced on one set, you know what I mean? The, it uh, it uh, shortened our cut middle player, you know what I mean? I didn't get as much help on one of them. So it's a combination of things. With the run game opened up some things. Um, uh, another one of the one of the over routes. Uh, you know, you look at it on film and, and really incredible throw and catch. You know, um, so I want to credit them and, and DJ uh, for for the way he played. Uh, his arm talent was quite impressive watching the film and the way he, you know, could throw off a back foot, throw a little bit unbalanced, throw throw, throw ch change his arm angle. And still drop it over people was was impressive, and uh, you know we need to play better. We we're close on some, uh, weren't close on others, and uh, just need to play better. And I want to, and and again credit them for some of the good things they did as well. You mentioned close. You still haven't scored 21 in an SEC game. Do you feel close to, to finding something there? <clears throat> yes, and you know we have to finish plays. You know finish drives. I think once again. You know, it, it, as I mentioned, it's not quite as magnified if we have with with the opportunities that we have if we get them in the end zone. You know, when uh, you know there, there's no no excuse for not getting in on third and short and fourth and short. You know, we gotta get the ball in the end zone. We're close, and you know, we gotta finish drives a little bit better, and and uh, we'll have an opportunity to score more. What, what is the balance in those short yardage situations? Like obviously. You you don't want to risk a bad play. The obvious thing is just line it up and run it, but it wasn't working, and then you hit the one pass. How do you balance? When the pass in the open field, it's a little different, and you have a little more room. You know, in the in the in the one yard line, you know, the, sure, there's a balance there. Later, we had it uh, from the three, and we we're going to throw the ball, and and that that's really the only time I know everybody thinks. I'm not opening myself up here for uh, the the criticism. I, I, Criticism is fair, but you know I don't get involved in play calling. And um, but they did ask me on on the one on the three when we had a person go on the three, and and I I absolutely said pound it, like pound the rock, and we did. 
and we scored. You know what I mean? Like, let's not get cute now. We can be physical. We could run it in here. I told them they had four downs because it was first and goal. So I said, let's not outthink this. You know, on the others, I didn't say a word. You know what I mean? I said, you know, play what you, you know, call what you want to call. I thought he made a great call on the fourth and two. You know, when, when, we, when we were discussing it, I said, you know, I told him to go for it. And he's, I said, what are you going to do? He said, I'm going to throw it. I said, do it. And, you know, he made a good call. So. Would Chip have the reputation of being that physical back? I mean, can you help him on this situation? I think he can. I think it's, a, it's, 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 uh, you know, I'd like to see him work into that. I mean, he's coming off a broken two, you know, two surgeries, you know, on, on one hand. So I think that's a fine line. Also, if I give it to him on the one, I think you'd be asking me why did I give it to him if he fumbled it on the one. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I think that'd be a fair criticism, you know. So I think that's something that we have to balance and make sure he can do, you know. What did Chip show you in the, the limited carries he had? And what kind of Pardon me? What did Chip show you in those limited carries he had? And what, what kind of potential is he had? Yeah, I think, you know, he, he helps. I mean, he's just a good guy. He's, a, he's, um, he's one of those uh, players that uh, very mature. It brings a toughness and a maturity that, that you'd love to have for the entire year. We haven't had it. Um, it's good to see him back in there, and hopefully he'll continue to, to grow and get, and, you know, get more confident and, and, and help us. You mentioned the criticism a couple of times. It's growing louder towards you. What's your message to your critics right now? I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm talking about play calls, like, you know, go for it, not. You know what I mean? Like, those, those are... Those are, you know, I critique myself and, you know, things of that nature. The outside noise, and, uh, you know, I can't bother myself zero with that. You know what I mean? There's absolutely, I think, you know, I've been around here a long time. You know, you could face a, you could face a bad day in, a, in tough times with a, with a good attitude, you know, and, and that's, what, that's what I'll do. We'll go to work, and I think you know that, it, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and flinch. Mark, you said on your post-game radio show that you mentioned that you don't often see a team move Kentucky off the ball as forward as they can do. What you look at the film, is that just forward being good, or was it a problem on the defensive corner? Yeah, I think, you know, the Florida's strong, big, and, um, and, and, I, and again, our guys are getting, you know, we're getting beat down a little bit. We're getting, we're getting hurt. We're getting thin. But no excuses. You know, it is what it is. I don't. It's a fact. That's it. We need to play better. Or with the struggle, struggles on offense, are you guys looking at shaking anything up from how you attack? You know, coming out a little bit more aggressive to maybe giving Gavin a little bit more reps throwing the ball. How are you guys kind of approaching that, noticing, you know, especially in SEC play? You know, next I think, it, I, that, I think it's looking at all options. Yeah, looking at all options. What gives us the best opportunity to move the ball? What gives us the best opportunity to win? Or can you assess Barry on at this point? Obviously, he's maybe your best big play threat, but the reliability doesn't always seem to be there. He makes a mistake, makes up for it with the kickoff return. Just where do you see him? I, I think you know he's a guy that that means well, that has improved, has worked really hard, and uh, you know eventually you're going to see that pay off on the field for him. Just like anybody, if you keep on, you know, putting your head down and going to work, uh, eventually you'll see that come to fruition. Mark, you talked about accountability and ownership by the players. Not that you're laying anything on them, but the last couple of weeks, has that been an issue? Um, I was, you know, proud of the fact that we had limited our penalties, you know what I mean, with just, you know, just... Uh, you know, in a very hostile environment, I thought that was a, a good improvement. I thought the guys practiced well. I, I said that, I believe I mentioned that after the game, but, um, you know, I, I, I appreciate our players. I think there's things we could all do better, and you know that ownership will always stay in our program and accountability, and, um, you know, we'll keep on grinding it out and going to work, and that's, you know, people will say that's, you know, uh, Redundant, but it, it, it's the truth. I mean, what else are you going to do? I mean, there's there's no mercy. Again, we're playing a team this week that is a good football team. I know the roster. I know the way they recruit. I I, I see the, the the front seven. I see the the guys on defense. I, their offense, the weapons that they have, the explosive plays that they create. We can't count on just 
you know, the turnovers have set them back. You know, like I told you before, there's a thin line uh, between success and failure. They're the same way. There's a good football team. I don't care what their record says. Uh, I know the players that they have on their roster, you know, so, uh, you know, we, we understand that, you know, and for us it's, it's about just getting back to work and doing things the best we can. How will their receivers challenge your secondary? They're talented. They're, they're, they have a lot of explosive plays, and they could go, you know, and uh, you know, I think with Thorne, I think he's really settled in, and you see a confidence and a comfort level uh, at the quarterback position where early there was some instability, but I think he's really solidified himself with some really talented uh, receivers and a, and a really physical, really talented running back. Mark Malachi got some run and looked like he held his water okay. Are, are you pleased with his advancement? I am. I am. Yeah, I was pleased with him. Yes. What's the morale like right now in the locker room? Uh, we'll be fine. We'll, we, you know, it's it's it, again, it's it's a tough business. It's a tough league. It's uh, you know, our guys understand that they they physically got to get uh, healthy. We got to get treatment. We got to uh, balance that, but we got to get prepared to play another really good game. You, you mentioned Thorne. What, what kind of threat is he in the running game? He's he's more mobile than you think, and uh, you know he's. You know, like I said, I think I could see him settling in. You know, they had a, a every opportunity to beat a very, very good uh, Missouri team on the road and uh, had every opportunity to win that game. And so, uh, you know, you could see it coming. Mark, what was your assessment of Alex Safari? Alex is doing some good things. You know, he moving them around a little bit, playing that outside the medium position, playing some inside. Um, you know, um, still getting acclimated to the inside reps, but you know, but uh, doing some good things. Um, it's like anybody. It, it, it seems like defensively, it's it's a, a person here, a person there. A, a, you know, one play. It, it's not any one group. It's not any one person. Uh, and you're not going to be successful that way. You know, we got to be really consistent. Mark, back to the shot plays. How many of those were maybe just? I don't know, communication issues or person playing the wrong or was it a lot of just getting beat? I can't think of any communication issues. There's there's problems within the scheme of who, you know, if you're zone and who's carrying the, the carrying the you know, the three up. Like there there's things within there that, that that happen that people can play better. I wouldn't call that communication. I would just say, you know, we can play it a little better and um, you know, and it all works together. I mean, when you know, uh, there, there, there's time and operation are involved as well. You know, with pressure and things of that nature. So, it, it defense all fits together. <coughs> when the defense plays well, really all year, but then just has a tough game like that. Is it almost like the week after you don't have to do a lot of tinkering and hands-on? Really, you expect them to just kind of bounce back and be as they were. Um, I don't ever take anything for granted. You know, as far as what they it, it nothing happens automatically i mean we have to put in the work you know we we will uh you know as always uh hold them accountable show this film and uh own our own issues and uh, move on what can cutter take from just those last two drives here yeah i think he he will, he will learn a lot just from that just just from that you know and that Afterwards, I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I threw you right into the like this tough. Stuff. And he, you know, the thing about him is, I and I knew that going into it is, he's not a fragile young man. Like, there's nothing fragile about him. You know, especially with his mind. I mean, he's he's a strong kid, and uh, he he he'll learn from it. You know, just you know, after the first play, I think he, he settled in and he he really ripped some balls, but but he like he like got to he got to slow down a little bit. You know, he threw it really. Hard and you know he could he could throw the football. It's just like slow down a little bit, and that just comes from experience and playing. Mark, I know you can't comment on officiating, but but playing in the goal line when it looked like you had a first down and it would have been pushing on all that. I could tell you were so frustrated trying to communicate. But I think it was the line judge. Is, is that an issue at times with officials? Like it, you just have a hard time being heard. Cause it sounded like he didn't want to give you any. No, you know, he, no, he he heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Did he understand? Oh yeah, he understood. <laughs>
Yeah. I really don't have any other comment. Or they could be like a third Demi got to the one yard line on his run, which was about the first down line of the ball was spotted by the two and a half. Is there anybody from upstairs? <laughs> does, does anybody know, ask for, can you challenge that? That's, you know, part of my discussion with them was like, you know, are they looking at it? What happens is, is I lost a challenge, what, a week or two before. You know, if they don't stop it, if they, if they don't see anything on there, I'm not going to win the challenge anyway. And uh, I did call the timeout there, I think. And that was part of my discussion was, is it worth the challenge? It, essentially, they're looking at it anyway. You know what I mean? So whatever result, whether I challenge it or stop play, they are looking at it. So if it was going to be reversed, they would buzz it and reverse it. Generally speaking, I think you know this, anything that's called on the field in those type of situations is what's going to happen. Did you get any explanation from the league on the touchdown that nobody could see how that was a touchdown <laughs> late in the, in the fourth? I have not. I have not heard back yet. I generally will get those probably tonight. Although I have a feeling they're quite busy, so it might be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you like to see more of an NFL-type system where a coach has a red flag to throw out and have a did coaches decide more of the challenges than the, than the well we have one site? we have we we have one challenge you know i don't have i don't have that flag to to throw which is probably a good thing <laughs> so uh no i'm joking but if i say any more i'll get annihilated so you know i like working with y'all i think we have a good you you understand me we've been here for a long time going through this but when i elaborate Somebody grabs something, and next thing you know, I'm complaining. So it's just, you know, I can't, I can't be fun, Mark, today. You know, <laughs> you, know you, you guys are professionals, and just some people don't listen to the whole conversation. They just grab a piece, and the next thing you know, I'm whining and complaining. So I'll make that very clear, I'm not. <laughs> Mark, do you, do you know Hugh Freeze very well? Yeah, I know Hugh from his first go around, you know, and then back in the league here um, uh, a little bit. Just, you know, uh, I wouldn't say we're we're as close as I am with some of the other guys in the league, but uh, I really like you. You know, just uh, hadn't spent as much time with them here. This you mentioned this about their turnovers, but mm -hmm. what normally characterizes one of these teams? Yeah, I mean, he, he's a, a very good play caller. I mean, they're you know, they're aggressive offense, and they have some dynamic guys. I mean, I, I know the way they recruit and, uh, you know, the team that he's assembled and the weapons that are out there. So that's that's real. Um, there, there's some guys there. And, and I think, uh, like I said, I really feel like they're, they're settled down at quarterback now and settled in. And, uh, you know, you can see that paying off for them. So they could, they could create some explosives. Mark, on those goal line replay reviews, there's so much congestion, there's never a good look. Is there a solution for that? I, I don't know. You know, I don't have one. You know. Mark, did the film change your assessment of how Brock played in all? Or it yeah, I think Brock, um, you know, did, you know, there were times when he didn't get help. There were times when he was a little bit sped up, you know, and made, and maybe, through some things with not the touch or the accuracy that was needed in critical moments. And then there were some times when he played well. You know, I think, uh, you know, in that situation, we all we all have to play well. We have to play better around him. Um, I think we did protect a little better than, than we've been. Um, but, uh, you know, we just we just all got to do, do a little bit better. Mark, is there a message to the players and to the fans to defend home field? This is the last SEC home game chance to get a home game. Yeah, I mean, it, it's an important game. I mean, we've had incredible atmospheres. Again, I've, I've, I, think, I've, I think you know uh, the importance to myself and our team uh, to play well everywhere, you know, on the road and at home. And, uh, you know, again, I know the great sacrifices that people make, and, and, and it's important to us. I mean, it's very important to go play well. Um, so, you know, we will be out there, and I promise you our team will work extremely hard and be prepared and ready to go. Mark, that's your point, that miss, was it just 
missed kick, snap, or what went wrong? Yeah, the bad kick. Yeah, bad kick. You know, the, the snap wasn't great. You know, and, uh, we, we did make an, a, we did put in Walker after that. We did put in another snapper on the next one, and trying to just get some stability in there. At the end of the first half, when you call a timeout and then they do re kick, what was the thought process there of trying for the block versus potentially putting Barry on back there to get a big return? It, it, it turned the ball over. You know what I mean? That there was it was gusty, it was windy. There was 13 seconds left. I mean, it's pretty hard, you know, to get with, with the way they punt. You know what I mean? To get a a punt return, you know, for a touchdown. Uh, that's easier said than done. I thought the, you know, so we tried to block it. I know you get conscious of putting Barry on back there and punt returns too much for his body, right? Taking too many hits, but. So as the season goes on, is, is that even less likely that he gets out there and punts or because uh, he's so, such a threat, could he be back there more? I, I never said that was the reason to take it too many hits. I think, the, I think earlier, I think the, the, the amount of work that he does, I mean, he could, his conditioning, there's a lot of things that come into play with that. But yes, there's definitely a consideration with using him back there because he's a dynamic guy. I know you talked more about the programs beyond just getting to bowls as the standard, but how important is it keeping the standard on? Well, I mean, you know, it, it is important. I mean, they, you know, we're in the right now, you know, and, and trying to win this game. You know, and that's where we have to stay focused. Is it important? I mean, I, I think it is in the grand scheme of things. I mean... You know, the, there's only eight schools in the country that have gone to eight straight. I mean, there's only four in the SEC. It's it's not easy. You know, and it's just not. Anyone else? Mark, as, as tough as the final score was, you had to come from behind all night. And you were in the game, you know, up to a certain Yeah, that, that's what yeah, that's what's frustrating. Sorry to cut you off there, Dick. But it's like, yeah, I mean, that's how it felt like got away from you so close, but you're sitting there in the fourth with a two score game and the ball. But anyway, finish your question. I no, cut you off. Yeah. Is that something you emphasize with the team when you go back and look yeah. at it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Like you're not far off. You know what I mean? We again, we gotta, we gotta finish. We gotta finish drives. You know, we know that. We all understand that. You know, when you yeah. got the ball in the inside the three, you gotta get it in. You know, and and uh, you know, so we're not as far off as we think. And even defensively, there's some plays that it looks bad, but you know that that are fixable. You know, and so um, you know, we got to get back. We got to get some guys healthy. There's a there's a fine line uh, this week. You know, with me, with you know how how we practice. I don't generally alter. Uh, you know, um, mess with my practice schedule schedule in season. I think, but you know, I have to look at how uh, much banging and how physical we are on Tuesday and Wednesday, like we normally are, with good against good, because we're getting thin. You know, so, uh, but we'll we'll have them ready. We'll have them ready to go. Wilcox only had three carries. It's not on the depth chart. Is that part of the health issue going into this week? Um, no, he should be he should be good to go uh, by game time, and he'll he'll continue to get carries. And you know, we need to get him the ball, and uh, we need to continue to bring him along in 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 all areas. Obviously, no team likes you, wants to play from behind, but is there a way to, uh, maybe it's a big picture offseason thing to where it doesn't feel like when you get behind multiple scores that it's such a, a slog to get back in the game? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we need to look at it. We need to be better. You know, we are in this situation right now, you know, and we have to find a way to win. But, yes, I'd like, I'd like it to look different as well. Perfect. Yeah, Oklahoma's struggling. Texas, big home game. Georgia puts it on them. Is it just back up what you guys are already in league have been saying for a long time? It's just the strength of the league. It, it's, overall. yeah, it's, it's, it's quite ridiculous this year. <laughs> yeah, it's quite ridiculous. You know, so um, there's a lot of talent in this league. You know, and, um, you know, I feel like it's only getting, it's only going to get stronger. You know, so. Um, I can't control all that. Yes, we watch it. Yes, my colleagues and I talk and uh, commiserate together. Um, but, uh, you know, some of those guys are crying on the yacht. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, All right. yeah. All right. Yeah. I got a little, little, little jumbo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.